going down to whatever the Bible says, correct? Whatever the Bible tells us to do, do we got to follow with the code? Dominion over your life. We got to let the Bible have dominion over our life. Hold on, Edwin, because I'm dealing with both of y'all. I'm asking her question, but the same question I'm asking her prefers to you too. So to let the Bible have dominion over our life, right? Whatever the Bible tells us to do, we got to follow it, correct? correct? You with me, Edwin? We got to follow whatever God tells us to do because he's our God, right? Watch this, read. And pray and seek my face. How we seek God's face in the Bible. We got to study. What do God want us to do? What don't he want us to do? Read. And turn from their wicked ways. What do we got to do? Turn from their wicked ways. I'm going to show y'all some wicked ways. We as a people have been walking. And we got to what, sis? Change. If you want God to hear your prayers, it's written in the Bible. God tells you how he will open his ears and hear your prayers. Read. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. Read it out. If my people, if my people, who is God's people? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're the Israelites of the Bible. God said if my people, which are called by my name, Shall humble themselves. We gotta humble down. Stop acting like you know everything. You don't know the Bible. Your pastor is not teaching you the Bible. He giving you a good feel message, a feel good message. He ain't teaching you the Bible. He bringing you in that church, taking your money, singing and dancing. What you love. That's what you like. That's all you want to hear is a song and a dance. God say you gotta humble down, black man. Humble down, Hispanic man. Humble down to what? The Bible. Humble down to God's commandments. Read it again. If my people, which are called by my name, you bless the Hispanics, you're God's people. You're the gods of the earth. You're God's chosen people. The Israelites of the Bible. That's right. Read. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. And what? And pray. And seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. So, hey, you heard? Come here, brother. All praise. You know you Israel. What's your name? Come here. Edwin? What tribe you from? You know you're Israelite? You never learned? What's your, what's your, what's your father? He makes me. So guess what tribe you'll be from? You'll be for the tribe of Issachar, according to the Bible. You Issachar, bro. So you know you Israel. What you been doing to further get yourself together with God now that you know you're an Israelite? Read a little more. Read a little more? Have you been praying? Nah. Why not? Uh, I don't got a book. <laughs> you don't, what you need a book to pray for? I haven't really got into it. Like you ain't got into it. Let me ask you a question. And be honest. Yeah. You gangbang. I used to when I was 13. You done? Yep. What, what gang you was in? SD. SD? Yeah. Saint Disciple. Yeah. Do you think us as a people gang bang going to help our people? Nah. Now listen, I'm going to show you something. Now that you know you're Israelite, now I want to read this again. If my people, we, with, who is God's people? Us. Which are what? What's our name? You just said it. Israel, the Israelites. We are God's people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God said if my people, Israel, which are called by my name and shall humble themselves. We got to humble down. What's your name again? Edwin. Edwin. My name is Zephaniah. God is telling us, us as a people, we got to humble down. Humble down to what? The Bible. Whatever the Bible tells us to do and not to do, we got to follow it. You with me, Edwin? Yeah. Watch this. Read on. And pray. And what? And pray. Because you say you haven't been praying. Which is, I'm going to say, if you pray to God and you're not doing what the Bible say, he's not going to hear your prayers. You, you with me? Yeah. If your, you got kids? Five. Five kids. If your kids ask you for something and they dip, doing everything the opposite of what you ordering them to do, are you going to give them a blessing? Are you really going to try to hear what they want? I mean, they blatantly disrespecting you. Yeah. Are you going to help your kids? Your son say, hey, I want a new bike. Are you going to give them a bike? No. Hey, sis, how you doing? You with me? 
Have you, you, you been here where we've been teaching? You know your nationality? Oh, you're an Israelite. Good, because he know he's an Israelite too. Cool. We the Israelites, right? Watch this. So now what I'm bringing out to the brother, now that we know we are Israelite, what's your name, sis? Nicole. Nicole. We got Nicole and Edwin. Now that we know we are Israelite, what is it that God want us to do, Nicole? Say it again, sis. I feel like he want us to spread joy and be prosperous with good acts. And good acts. What's the good acts that the Lord want us to do? And he do want us to spread joy amongst each other. Have we as a people been spreading joy amongst each other? Absolutely not. Once we spread joy, learn how to spread joy amongst each other, then we can spread joy throughout the whole earth. Right. Because that's our purpose. We supposed to have all nations obeying what God say. Watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10. No, I want you to go back to the verse I was just reading. I'm going to go back to that one. Now, you, you're 100% right, sis. And I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Second Chronicles. Go ahead. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, we are God's people, right? The Israelites, God say, if my people, which are called by my name, which is Israel, read, shall humble themselves. We got to humble down. To whatever the Bible says, correct? Whatever the Bible tells us to do, do we got to follow with the call? Dominion over your life. We got to let the Bible have dominion over our life. Hold on, Edwin, because I'm dealing with both of y'all. I'm asking her questions, but the same question I'm asking her prefers to you too. So to let the Bible have dominion over our life, right? Whatever the Bible tells us to do, we got to follow it, correct? correct? You with me, Edwin? We got to follow whatever God tells us to do because he's our God, right? Watch this, read. And pray. And seek my face. How we seek God's face? In the Bible. We got to study. What do God want us to do? What don't he want us to do? Read. And turn from their wicked ways. What do we got to do? Turn from their wicked ways. I'm going to show y'all some wicked ways. We as a people have been walking. And we got to what, sis? Change. It's not hard. But it's up to you. Read. Then will I hear from heaven. Then God is going to hear our prayer. Read. And will forgive their sin. And what? And forgive their sin. God wants to forgive us of our sins, but we got to do what the Bible says, correct? Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. So God requires something of us as a people. Nicole, and you asked me that. You still got Deuteronomy 10 and 12? Let's read that for the sister. Read that for the brother. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So the Bible says, what do God require of us, Edwin? What do God require of us? Nicole, we finish, he's going to tell you. He's going to tell you. You want to sit correct. We're going to read it straight out the Bible so everybody else can be edified. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. When it says fear God, you, when you learn what God wants you not to do, you say, I'm not going to do that because God is going to kill me. That's in the Bible. God will kill you. And the judgment for breaking God's commandments is the lake of fire. The second death. Read. But to fear the Lord, thy God. Fear God means I'm not going to disobey him. That's what that means. Read. To walk in all his ways. We got to do whatever the Bible tells us to do. Read. And to love him. We got to love God. Read. And to serve the Lord, thy God, Come on. with all thy heart. You got to put all your power in serving God. That's what it means, with all your mind. Just like we party, say, yeah, hey, look, today's Saturday, I'm about to throw on my best clothes. I'm about to hit the club. You did everything in your power to get to the club. Right. You didn't even have no damn money, right. but you got to that club. So God said you got to love him with all your mind. Read. And with all thy soul, and with all your soul, put all your power into loving God. Read. To keep the commandments. How do we do that? To keep the commandments. The Bible says the way we love God, the way we serve God, is to keep the commandments. That's Read. Right. Of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Hey, sis, don't get on the bus. Catch the next one. Come here. This is important. The Bible says... To keep the commandments of the Lord, and it's for your what? For thy good. It's for your good. Whatever the Bible tells us to do is for your good. Correct? Because God said it. I didn't say it. Deuteronomy 22. 
I'm going to get you a commandment. Because you know you're an Israelite. It's time to do what? What do we got to do now? We got to walk in all the what? Walk, the Bible says walk in all the God's what? Walk in all his commandments. Walk in all his ways. Correct? Let's get one of the ways of God that he want our sisters and our men to walk in. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman. He started out with the woman. He said the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is that talking about, Nicole? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is that talking about? Those are leggings, right? What are those? Stretch pants? They're like dress pants. They're like dress pants. Yeah. So the Lord is telling the woman she's not supposed to wear what? You just said. Pants, pants which is pants, correct? Yeah. Guess what you got to do? Humble down and what? You said it. You ain't doing it? Oh, Make sure we get that. that. Hold on. So what is that? Get that. Make sure you get that. What you, now, what do you, what, read it again. <laughs> the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So you know that's talking about pants. Are you going to do it? I'm saying I'm not going to be able to go to work. No, no. Now listen. We know some people got to my outside of work. Oh. Are you going to do it outside? You know what our women do? A lot of our women are forced. A lot of our women are forced to wear pants on the job. We know that. But guess what you can do? Take your dress to work, and soon you get out of work, guess what you can do? Go in the locker room or the bathroom and take them pants off and put that dress on and walk out as a princess of God. Right. That's right. That's hard to do? Are you going to do that? Yes or no? I can. You what? I can. You can do it. No, are you going to do I it? Can. I know you can. <laughs> we all can do things. I'm asking you, are you going to do it for dress. God? I have to buy a dress. I don't own it. That's fine. Buy you a dress. Get you a dress. I'm asking you in the sight of God right now, are you going to do it? Yeah. You're going to all praise to the most high. That's repentance. That way, right? Watch this. Deuteronomy, I mean, Leviticus 21, verse 5. Sis, you got to get it together. I'm going to read you a scripture and show you what's going to happen if you don't want to do it. Watch this. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So, Edward, do you shave off your beard? You don't do it no more at all. Okay, so it's a sin. If you shave your beard off, that's sin. That's evil. Watch this. Read on. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. You know what they're talking about? Tattoos. You can't get tattoos no more, sis. Nicole, Edward. You still get tattooed up. Give it a hug. You tied it up like the sun went hard. Like Lil Wayne said. You, you still get tattooed? I was thinking about it. You was thinking about it. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. God says you should not make any cuttings in your flesh. Read. For the dead, nor print any marks upon you. So, nor print any marks upon you. You with me? We can't do that as a people. God don't like that, Nicole. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the next teacher come up. I want to show you something. Deuteronomy 22. All right, give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5 again. I want to show you because you was reluctant when it came to wearing pants. You was like, hey, listen, man, look. I don't know about that. You know how a lot of women wear pants? A lot of women wear tight pants, and all their pants is tight. Hey, Edwin, Edwin, when women put on pants, when they get to looking in the mirror, what do they do before they leave out when they put them pants on? When they look in the back of the mirror, what they looking at? At their butt. At right. their butt to make yeah. sure that ass is out. Right. Because that, that's what women think go get them all the attention. Right. But guess what? When a man, I ain't saying you, sis, but when a man see that backside, guess what he want? That backside. Right. That's all he want. Right. You got right. a daughter? You got to teach your daughter not to dress exactly. like that, bro. I wanna, let me show this. I'm going to let you come up. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Last scripture in Revelation 21 and 8. Now the Bible says if a man wear a dress and if a woman wear pants, it's an abomination. You with me? 
You with me, sis? Let's see what's going to happen to abominable people. Watch this. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. But the fearful and the unbelieving. If you say, you walk up and say, I don't believe nothing they just said. Read. And the abominable. The what? The abominable. And the abominable. Women wear pants and men wear dresses. Right. And murderers. And whoremongers. Read. And sorcerers. Sorcery is going into witchcraft. You celebrate your birthday, that's sorcery. You celebrate your birthday, witchcraft. You smoke weed, crack, get high, sorcery. Read. And idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You heard, you heard what's going to happen to all people that's an abomination to the Lord? They're going to be in what, sis? Fire. The lake of fire. Which is the second death, because a lot of us think once we die, it's over. No, you're coming back. There is a judgment day for everything you did on this earth. So it's up to you to keep God's commandments and repent. If we want to rule the earth, brother, you want to rule the earth, you've got to do what the Bible says. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.